Well, if you're the CEO of a big company, the, the first thing is to conceptualize this right. This is not like another technology like that, AI and the cloud and robots and drones and the Internet of Things and all the rest of the stuff that are part of this fourth industrial revolution. This is the transactional platform that will enable all of those things to be part of the economy. So when we have autonomous vehicles moving around, all of those transactions, everything from how they power themselves to how people pay for them, will be done through a distributed ledger. The Internet of Everything needs a ledger of everything uh, for, for it to work. If you're a CEO, you also need to get pilots going. Now, most of the big banks are doing this, but this is, tr um, is true in every industry. You also need to get yourself informed. And there are all kinds of big ways and, and, and consortia and partnerships now where you can get plugged in. The final thing I would say is you need to start to build up some elite talent. And it doesn't necessarily need to be inside your organization. You can partner with others. There's always been this view in terms of technology innovation, going back all the, over these successive waves of technology, that you shouldn't, you shouldn't be a leader. You should be like a fast follower. And let the leaders go out and, and get burnt. But I think this might be different in, a, in one sense, that by being a leader, you change the game. And, uh, you know, Amazon was a, a, a great example of that. I, they were ridiculed when they, f they were first launched, and everyone made so much fun of them, and their market cap is ridiculous and all the rest. But Amazon is well positioned to own a whole bunch of the, uh, a whole bunch of the economy. And the other thing is, by taking initiatives, you change your own culture, and you become a more responsive organization that's capable of innovating uh, better. Now that doesn't mean that if you're a bank, you should throw out your existing transactional systems and leap onto some whole new untested platform without proper experimentation. Just like you shouldn't get rid of your, your supply chain overnight. But in every case, every industry, now there are examples of individuals and companies that are providing leadership that are changing the game. So this is about thinking strategically, you know, where are you going to play? How are you going to win? How do you have competitive differentiation? And how do you create value for customers? So the big questions of strategy are, are, are coming to the fore here too. Interesting time for, for basically everybody in the C-suite.